there's nobody that has this nailed. And anybody that does, I think, is uh, either a little bit overconfident or just a little bit you know, out of their minds. There were a number of people in our program that took the exact approach that you just described and used the program to figure out how they would spend a lot of their time when they were, when they, when they were finished and began to look at like a future state and what does my life look like once all this has been removed and began to make like conscious plans for this is the vision, going back to what I said earlier, this is the vision that I want out of my life and these are the constructive steps I'm going to take now to get involved in community service or organizations or get involved with my kids or do this. So begin to plan a lot of that stuff now so that as soon as you get out, you're forced you're forced to do it. You're going to, you're going to develop a leadership vision, where you want to be, you know, if you already wrote in your D1 10 years from now or 20 years from now, where you plan on be. So you've got to start figuring out how you're going to get there, how you're going to fill in. He had no nothing in community. He had no civic, no community uh, whatever your community, however you define that, is it is it building your network? Is it cultivating your your friendships and things of that nature? Is that your community? Is it getting involved in a charitable organization? Is that what your community is? And if you're spending just a little bit of time in there, maybe you need to expand that time. And, and um, is it developing a family, not just your mother and father and brothers and sisters, but maybe um, having a family of your own? So start imagining what that's going to be like. Are you taking kids to to their ballet practices or their soccer games and things of that nature? And how is that going to occupy a, a part of your life. There's always room to grow within those domains. And, and so search for how you can push those boundaries. And, and as you do that, I think you're going to find, uh, as part of your leadership vision that you develop in this class, uh, that's going to help prepare you uh, going forward. One of the things I like about coaching is it reinforces every semester what I learned in the class. So as I'm coaching somebody, I'm kind of looking at my own game sheet, and I'm going, ah, okay, you know, how can what I'm seeing this person do apply to what I do so I can refine the experiments I have going on? Because, yeah, my life's my life has dramatically changed from when I was in school, and so part of my vision is completely different. My core values are still the same, but I still, through the coaching process, I'm like, yeah, I remember what Stu said in class. Let me see how I can apply that to my own life, and all you have to do to be a coach is raise your hand.